All right, a special day today at the RC Spark Studio. Welcome back, my dad, Mike. How are you doing? Awesome. We have a couple of dad's friends, Todd and Doug, here to try out the new Thrasher jet boats. Now, normally my buddy Everett is here to give us a hand. He couldn't make it here today. And these boys are going to give us a completely new experience. They've never run these boats before. And I figure we're going to take them to the rapids, see how they do. Remember, these boats have a built-in self-writing system where when it takes on a little bit of water, it starts to roll it over. Then you can dump it out because it's easy to get back to shore. Let's go. So Doug's gonna run my boat today. Still 5S LiPo battery power, plenty of juice. Uh, brushless uh, motor in there, a yeah, huge no ESC. Right here is what we're looking for. Right off the and, ESC. And the radio goes on first. Radio goes on first, Dad, yeah. Ready? Yeah, there you go, perfect. Maybe please noise. Doodle loop, and a little pin at the front. Perfect. Todd, your turn, brother. Remember, always turn the radio on first when you're playing with RCs because really you want to make sure control is in your hand when you activate whatever unit you're pushing the battery into. Doug, have you ever operated an RC Never boat? Never in my life have I even So seen this is your movie. first time with the Thrasher? Absolutely the first time. Nice. Radio, sir. Radio's Pass there. it off. So when you're driving a jet boat, remember the only way it turns, because there's no rudder on the bottom, is by giving it thrust and turning the boat, right? There you go. So same thing on the radio. It's just like a steering wheel for your car. And throttle is the trigger. Nice. Todd, my man, your turn. Shall I launch your boat? Great. Now, keep in mind, gentlemen, RCs act like magnets. Try to stay far away from each other. <laughs> Such a beautiful boat. <laughs> Just trying it out. Doing a good job so far. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, Todd, first impression. How's it going? Great. Yeah, it's got a little bit of good power. How's the responsiveness of the boat? Very responsive, a little too responsive. Okay, I can turn down the, 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 the dual rate for you. I'll get, I think I'll probably adjust. Keep trying it out. Doug, what about you? How's your first tr try with the boat? Oh, it's good. It's kind of weird thinking of which way to turn, depending if you're over there or over. Yeah, coming at you is a challenge. Everything kind of reverses. Well, hey, there he goes. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Full throttle into the bank. <laughs> Let me go see what's happening. Right now. <laughs> Let's go see. Todd, what happened? Um, I think you might have to talk to my lawyer about that. <laughs> <laughs> Look how far you hopped it out of the water. <laughs> I bet you there's nothing wrong with the boat. These boats have an extra thick hull. Uh, I bet you that there is zero damage. Let's have a look. A little bit of dirt. Nothing, it hit it. Not even a chip, not a dent. I think you can put her back in the water, bro. All right, that's good, because I'm really rich, man. Yeah, let's check for water. I don't think so. It really hasn't had a lot of uh, turbulence, so I don't think it'll have a lot of water in there. Nope, close right. to nothing, actually. Nothing even worth dumping out. Doug notices that we're getting closer and closer to the dam. We're gonna... upstream of that. No, no, we're gonna put you right in the mess of it. If this boat is any good, you should be able to take it in there and have a good time. They're both starting to get a good handle on it now. It's taken, you know, about 10 minutes of just driving around. There, now he's starting to get a hang of it. Good job, Dougie. Nice. Bringing it back, make sure to point it the right direction. Check to see if you have any water on the inside, sir. 
Very flat on the prairie today. Not a lot of wind, thankfully. I just undo the screw and look in the back. Yep, just undo the screw and have a peek in the back there. Uh, nothing really. Nothing. Perfect. Do her up tight and bring her into the shore there, Todd. Okay. We'll take you over to the dam. Dad helping me watch off on the side and you're gonna help me, you're gonna go with uh, Todd to this side. Doug's gonna follow me to the other side and each of us are gonna go to the other side of the dam. So you guys go down here and we'll go to the other side. This is where you get to play. The center of the dam is open and all of this turbulent water all the way down is here for you to have fun with. That's gonna happen. Too. Yeah. All right, here we go. There, nice control into the rapids. Todd on the other side. It's fun to get into these rapids and to see what the boat can actually do, you know. Can it handle uh, the constant up and down? Does it have enough power on 5S to make it through some pretty decent rapids? And the answer is yes, look at that. It went straight under the water dove under the water, came out under power, no problem. These boats do have a small bilge pump on them that work on a vacuum system. So when it's moving, it does pump water from the inside of the boat, uh, but you gotta be able to run it for some time. Look at that, completely underwater and you popped up. Good job. Looking good, he's going for the center. You're welcome to try to climb up the middle. Oh yeah. You can do it from the side. I'd suggest coming in at an angle and trying to hop it up there. <laughs> Todd, Todd got a little behind. <laughs> He's coming up though. These boats have plenty of power to keep pushing. He's just going at half throttle now, just enjoying himself as it should be. Look at this, Doug trying to figure out a good angle to get through there. Oh, almost, don't, don't, yeah, careful. There you go. Gotta watch weeds in a jet boat. You don't want to get them sucked up through the back, but there isn't too many today. Look at that, isn't that what it's all about? The radio control hobby. Going out to have a good time, enjoying a day in the sun <laughs> with your friends, doing some cool stuff. Look at them trying to get up the center, and he's upside down. <laughs> Now this boat will self right itself. As it starts to fill up, it'll flip. Go with it, go with it. It will flip, don't worry. But the only thing is it takes about 50 seconds for it to flip. Even if you stop right there, it will flip. You should be able to drive it back. There it goes, there it goes now. There, the water starts to fill up the hull and the way it's been designed with this type of hull, watch this. Gets all that water in there, starts to sink it at the back. You'd be like, whoa, then it's just totally gonna sink the boat, but it doesn't, look at that. Drive it back and empty it out. Dad trying to retrieve a boat. It looks closer than it is, but he is a tall guy. Right to the edge. You got it, Dad, you got it! Hammer out, Doug, go! Ah! Yeah, go, go, go! Yeah, good rescue, Dad, good job! The things you do for friends, hey? Woo! Doug trying to figure out his lineup now. The challenge is, is that there is less water moving through the gate, the dam today. We've had lots of rain, so they haven't had to fill up this irrigation canal too much. It's not getting used a lot, so they don't have to flow a lot of water through. But regardless, still a lot of fun to come down and try your chances at getting up on the center channel. Nice, great shot of the thrasher right there. 
Totally gone, then it comes back up. Should I try and speed up from the side like that? I would say so. There you go. We will get over it. It may take a 6S. Oh! Uh -huh. Come here, let me see it. The basher's built to be bad. The thrasher's built to be bashed, but let's see if that hurt it. Come here. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Throttle, over this way. Almost, almost, yeah, let her go. Let's see her. Let's rinse it off. You know what, it's totally okay. That's the thrasher for ya. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's upside down. Oh! Go! Oh, no! Go, go, go! Oh! Here we go, another attempt. He got spit out. You guys, the film does it no justice. Like this area is super rolling, super hard. Still on the same 5S LiPo battery. Getting to the point where we're gonna to have to call it pretty soon. Oh! <laughs> rolling! Look at that! That's why you don't wanna be swimming in there, my friends. You're good, Doug! Doug coming in, new attempt. Almost gets it, oh, it gets denied. Oh, it keeps trying. Submarine. Doug? I almost made it up the falls. I saw you almost did it. I think next time, if I stay here for three or four days, I should have it down, no problem. <laughs> what is your first impression of the thrash or jet boat? Was it easy to use? It's, uh, when this it's easy except for underneath the waterfall where it's very turbulent. But other than that, it's easy to steer. It's got plenty of power. Yeah. It, uh, cool. It's a little bit hard getting used to which way the boat is facing, how you're going to turn, but you sure. get used to it pretty quickly. And, and so for runtime, was that ample runtime on yeah, a single that's battery? Yeah, because we were dinking around underneath the waterfalls for quite a that's while. That's exact. Mr. Submarine, that's your new name. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good job. Todd bringing in his boat. We've come to the end of our battery. But it was a long, uh, very nice ride out on the, on the canal. It is super scorching hot today, so we're all looking forward to a cold bottle of water, question <laughs> mark. So, Todd, did you have a good time with the Streamline RC Thrasher? Absolutely. Oh, that's good news. Was it easy to use? <laughs> Be honest, uh, we want to be- The controls, the controls are simple. Yes, it's learning to use something like that. You did good, man. I think you did a great job. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Plenty of attempts. It was great fun, that's for sure. Dad, so your two buddies now have had a chance to run the Thrasher. What do you think of the Thrasher? You have run it before. That Thrasher is the greatest thing. That's awesome. <laughs> those rapids and trying to get it up there, that's a challenge. Would you actually try uh, and get a Thrasher yourself? Is this yes, something yes. you'd want? Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely, I want one. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, we had a good day out boating. The boys are taking them. Uh, the boat's back. That's the bonus of them being new here. They get to carry everything back. <laughs> and if you guys have had a good time watching these boys testing out the Thrasher, please give us a like click down below. Maybe we even earned your subscription. And until next time, we will see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Now go out and have some fun with RC. Bye.